trovandomi per la prima volta sul cratere, ho sentito la condizione magmatica come fosse il sangue che circolava nelle vene e il cervello nella sua condizione creativa. Da allora sono ospite di questo tempio dove i fantasmi prendono corpo e le pietre paiono somme animali. The Black Sculptures Golden Stick Snake Book stand with handwritten poetry books. Dice of Fate. These are the mysterious works of an artist with creative mind, named Bishan Basiri. Bishan Basiri, an Italian-Iranian artist, was born in Tehran in 1954. He moved to Italy in 1975 to continue his study in stage design at Rome Academy. This was the beginning of his artistic career. His ties with Iranian poetry and his Eastern cultural roots and myth on one hand, and artistic growth in Italy and inspirations drawn from Italian nature on the other, have enabled him to become a bridge between Eastern and Western fine arts. He thus combined painting, sculpture, poetry and music, and elevated them to a new ground by incorporating his philosophical expressions into his artworks. Majid Mullah Nouruzi, a former director of Tehran Museum of Contemporary Arts, says about Bijan Basiri. Mr. Bijan Basiri is a man who is 14 years old in Italy. He is a man who 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 is a فانتانا مثل بوری مثل آلبرتو مارتینیس و از طرفی ریشه های عمیق فرهنگ هنر ایرانی اسلامی رو در خودش داره آثارش که به حال از توتم ها و کهن الگوهای ایرانی نشأت گرفته و با نگاه حماسی شعرگونه موسیقایی و رمزآلود خودش امروز یک بیان بصری خوبی پیدا کرد the timeless character of his creations, his constant references to myth and archetypes, and his loyalty to place are widely recognized as defining features of his artworks. On his first visit to Mount Vesuvius, he got profoundly impressed by the magnificence and grandiosity of the natural spectacle unfolding in front of his eyes. That moment marked the beginning of the creative process, which eventually brought him to the conception of his magmatic thought. Bruno Cora, director of the Buri Foundation in Città di Castello and curator of Basuri's art fair in Tehuan, Mozlach, is an old friend of the artist, who described as follows the concept and meaning of the magmatic thought theory. E anch'esso, diciamo, una metafora, il magma è ciò che bolle appunto nel pensiero dell'artista, nel cuore dell'artista, nell'animo dell'artista. Il magma è esattamente quel fenomeno di incandescenza interiore che porta all'eruzione delle, delle visioni, delle illuminazioni, delle immagini. Non è certamente quello, quello solo fisico che pure il vulcano in quanto aspetto diciamo geologico esprime e così anche nell'opera di Bassini la metamorfosi è continua e alla base di tutto il processo trasformativo e creativo. With a very keen eye, Bassiri talks about the meaningful connection existing between man's brain and magmatic stone. 
invece sul riscaldamento della materia emana la luce dall'interno della materia. Ecco. E quale parte della, del nostro corpo che è in grado di fare questa attività? Come il vulcano, come il pietra surriscaldata, come il sole? È il cervello. Il cervello quando non pensa è solo un sasso. Basiri's works have been exhibited in many prestigious international venues as part of solo or group shows. In 2015, after four decades of absence, he returned to Iran to present the Mutlaq Art Fair at the Tehran Museum of Contemporary Art. Then he moved on to On Gallery with his Noor collection. In 2016, Basiri's work was featured in a new exhibition at Albadan Museum of Contemporary Art. In 2017, he took part in the 57th Venice Biennial with an artwork titled Tepesh, an installation made up of 32 human figure sculptures in different shapes placed next to the dices of fate. In 2019, at the Iran National Museum, on the occasion of the Italian Contemporary Art Day in the world, the Italian Embassy in Tehran promoted an exhibition of Basiri's works by the name El Notambulo in cooperation with Tehran Museum of Contemporary Arts. At the 58th Venice Biennale in 2019, Basiri was invited to Capesara Galleria Internazionale d'Arte Moderna as the host of Meteorite Narvalo. Basiri donated one of his works titled Solar Mirror to the Italian Embassy in Tehuan. He tells us about his technique and concept. <laughs> اون کاری که توی سفارت هست یا جاهای دیگه فلان اینا اصلا یه اونم حاصل یه اتفاقه خاطر همین یه دفعه من یادم میاد تو استودیو داشتم با فلکس با این چیزایی که میچرخن میباره آهن و اینا اتفاق یه دیوار فولادی تو استودیو بود یه کاری بود یا آهن بود اینو اتفاقی میخوره به به سطح آهن یه مرتبه این نوری که میاد بیرون از جسم آهن من یه مرتبه متعجب شدم که این مثل این که این زخم مثل که روح جسم اون زیر قایم شده باشه که این اومد بیرون همین که من از این مطلب این جهت داد به من که اصلا من تمام سطح رو مثل این که این فلکسی که دارم مثل که مداد باشه شروع کردم یه حالت بی نهایت وقتی تو میکشی روی این سد ولی خب باید یه جوری باشه که مدادم آدم وقتی رو کاغذ کار میکنی همیشه خوب از آب در نمیاد یعنی باید تراحیش رو یعنی اون چیزی که میکشیم از هم به خاطر همین توی این خطا هم اگر افتی وجود داشته باشه ارزش کار از دست یعنی نیست درست ولی بعد چه اتفاق دیگه میفته که آینه اینا چرا من میگم آینه خورشیدی این این کنچتو هستش آینه در طول تاریخ تحولات زیادی داشت آینه همون آبیه که را، راکد تکون نمیخوره و و این باعث میشه که تصویر درش ابراز بشه خب این داستان آینه هست این اتفاقی که در آینه خورشیدی میافته که تو مرحله بعدشه در راجبش من فقط نمیگم از این چیزه اینه که مثل اینکه من یه سنگی رو برداشته باشم انداخته باشم توی آب راکت و این سطح به هم میریزه خب وقتی به هم میریزه دیگه انعکاسی ایجاد نمیکنه دیگه دنیا رو درش انعکاس نمیده خودش رو ابراز میکنه تبدیل میشه به چشمه نور از اینجا این مثل که دوره آینه کلاسیکی که ما داشتیم به آخر برسه و زندگی شش کنیم In conclusion, one can say that philosophical expression and visual representation are clearly emphasized in Bishan Basiri's works 
Although he has tried a wide range of materials and objects in his career, his creations have always been based on poetic intuition and search of the absolute meaning of human existence.